Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa. Today I want to bring to you two contour sticks. One that I really know well, the Fenty Beauty Mocha Match Sticks. And one that is new to me that I just got in the mail. It is the Westman Atelier, what is this called? The Face Trace Contour Stick. I actually have two shades, so I have the truffle and the biscuit, and then they also have a third shade, ganache. So if you would like to see what my thoughts are and how this applies, stay tuned. So let's get into this. I am going to quick put my hair in some clips and I will zoom you in and let's just get right into this today. First, I am going to go in with a foundation. If you are not interested in this part, you can just skip right on through. Where did I put my sponge? First, I'm gonna go in with my Hollywood Flawless Filter. I feel like that's just a must for me. I tell you, every time I sit down to do a video, I think I'm ready and I prep everything and then I just forget the simplest things like a sponge and brushes. I am going to go in with my LYS foundation. Now I have it in LG6. I have no idea if that's going to be too light or not. I can already tell that it is. So I'm going to take... I feel like every time I take this foundation, it like doesn't quite work, but let's see if it works today. This is Sahal in the NARS, what is this called? Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I'm going for a pretty sheer look today. I wanna keep it light and summer friendly mostly starting in the center of my face and then bringing it back and making sure I don't forget my ears just kind of working around these big hoops today. Okay, so I'm only gonna do one layer of that foundation. Now I'm gonna go in with my new concealer. Well, actually I've had this concealer for a while, but Beauty Counter just brought this back. I'm so happy about that. And I actually got a new shade, it's light three. And this is the component, and this is probably going to brighten up my under eyes, which I do not mind. I am just going to take it below the cheeks here to kind of give me a more lifted look. And just bring that down and over. And then I am going to go on the eyelids. This is just something that I always do. Now you can still kind of see a little bit of acne scarring, but I really don't mind that. And also I am gonna be going over with my contour stick, so I really don't wanna put a ton of product on. So that is all I'm going to do. So let's go in with the contour sticks. All right, so this is the component again. Let's open this up. This is Biscuit comes in a very nice component and this is the actual product here let me swatch this for you so that is a really light color it's really cool toned this is going to work for very like fair complexions and this might be my shade let me just show you what I am used to oh and I like this magnetic Cat. Very cool. This is the Fenty Mocha Match Stick. And this actually is probably my favorite contour stick. It's just a bit warmer than this one. And then let me show you the truffle one. So these are retailed at, I think it was $48. Westman Atelier is a clean product. And so on their website, it says our clean beauty promise we strive to be as natural as possible, but we also want our product to work. If a synthetic ingredient is necessary in a specific instance, we make sure it's thoroughly safety vetted and approved. So it has no parabens, no sulfates, no mineral oil, no phthalates, no silicones, and no animal testing. They really show you what is in their products, which I'm all about. This one is truffle, so this is going to be for 
medium to tan skin. Okay, so this is Biscuit, Fenty, Mocha, and this is Truffle. I feel like I wanna use Biscuit first. This is so user-friendly, which is another reason why I love it, and I've gone through two before already. So let's see if this, I can just go right on. Okay, cool. I don't know, <laughs> just testing it out here. Now I like to keep it just above the ear. Okay, that's pretty. Now I wanna go in with a brush actually. So I have a flat brush like this. is perfect actually I actually prefer putting it on like this obviously you can do whatever your heart desires now usually I go just right here and then I also go on the nose like that okay I want to put on a little bit more and down here and then I'll go below the cupid's bow like that i'm gonna switch back to my beauty blender actually make sure to get in that hairline now with the chin you always go below it i see now i guess it depends on if you want to change the shape of your face i feel like my face is already very narrow so i want to just bring attention to a sharper jawline and just get rid of any any sign of double chin <laughs> so i do it just right under here and that's what really makes like a nice sharp jawline well, let me see if you can tell the difference here now i am going to go in with a different shade just because I wanna see what it looks like and if I could use this shade. This is the truffle shade. I do have a little bit of a tan right now. Just like that. And under the chin. I mean, a little bit goes a very long way. I do actually like this shade for my coloring right now. Huh, you can barely tell the difference actually. Yeah, this side does look darker obviously. I hope so. And just apply it like this. Hmm, I don't know what shade I like better. Tell the difference as you can see this is so much cooler than this but it really actually works on both sides and I just think it gives me a little more of a cut here as opposed to over here I got a little sloppy down here I didn't bring it up as much as I wanted to but clean that up just a tiny bit my cheeks are funny and this one kind of goes in a little bit and this one is fuller. It's the only reason I think I would ever get a little bit of filler is to just put it in right here, but I haven't resorted to needles quite yet. So <laughs> ask me in a couple more years though. I'm gonna put this a tiny bit on this side actually just to even, even me out, even though I can barely tell. Maybe the camera is picking up something that I don't see. Okay, so I feel like I'm not doing a very good job of comparing and contrasting these, but the only thing I can say is this is a lot creamier, so I'm guessing that's because of their skin products in this. Um, this is just as nice. Um, so I don't know, I guess it depends on your budget, right? But I really like this as well. And it went on just as smooth, just as easy with the Beauty Blender. It wasn't hard to smooth out. And I also just popped it in the eyelid and it, that was very 
very easy too. So, okay, no complaints. I am going to, well, why did I take these out? I'm actually going to finish doing my makeup. We will see how everything lays on top. So I'm keeping with the beachy vibes. I am actually going to use a new shade from Beauty Counter that I just got. What is this called? This is Paloma. I am dying over these little containers. They're so cute, but this is the shade right here. I'm actually just gonna use my finger. Now, I feel like this is something that I just, can use even in the car like say you want to go out to eat really quick and or go to a barbecue it's like summertime everything I feel like is very impromptu like you try to plan as much as you can but I feel like sometimes the best nights are just the random nights right so these are just so easy to just put in your purse and especially this too and you can just Get ready in the car pretty much you can put it over the nose if you want i don't like a ton over my nose but you do whatever you want that just all blended really nice together okay next thing all the rage and i can't stop using as well is the beauty wand from charlotte tilbury i've had this for quite some time this stuff lasts so long and I did get the Flower Beauty one in as well, and it's just as nice. It's a little bit of a different shade, but it is just as pretty and just as easy to use. I am actually gonna go in with a tiny bit of powder. I'm gonna use the Beauty Pie one that I just used in my last video and just kind of press that on the eyelid just to amp that up a little bit more. You can also just put this in the inner corner. Whoa, what am I gonna do next? Next, I'm going to curl my lashes. Then I'm gonna use the Beauty Counter Mascara. If you are sleeping on this, I highly recommend checking this out. It's so good. Yeah, love that mascara, it's so good. Okay, it's not waterproof, but it is smudge proof. So in the heat, it works. Next thing I am going to do is line my lips. I love the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. That is pretty much all I wear. I do wear Iconic sometimes too. This is my Beauty Counter Brulee Lip Gloss. And now my lips match the backdrop. <laughs> that is the finished look. It's very just summery, light, clean girl makeup. What are my thoughts? Oh gosh, why did I do this to myself? I think they're both beautiful. This is really, what is, okay, let me just, let me really look. The color is perfect, actually. I really, really like the color of this. I actually kind of like truffle better right now, but I am happy I got Biscuit because this is gonna be better for me in the winter months. But I don't know, I feel like both of them kind of worked. And I kind of liked that I layered it too because it really did give like a nice cut up here. I don't know, there's something special about this and I can't put my finger on it, but this is just so easy and flawless as well. So if you wanna save some extra money, I do highly recommend Fenty, but I do like the Westman Tillier. I don't know, what do you guys think about this? Have you tried these products? Would you spend $48 on a contour stick? I mean, it is pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right, well, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I do highly recommend contour sticks. I think they are so easy. I love cream products, and I also really love this new blush that I got. I think it's really, really pretty. So I hope you guys are having a great summer. Don't forget to get outside and enjoy the sun while we have it. All right, see you guys, bye. Consciously crafted Gucci Westman.
Her name is even fancy. What a fancy woman. Oh, what time is it? Oh my God, I'm so ready to pick her up right now. My daughter is at camp right now. And it has been difficult, actually. This is the first time that she has done like an all day camp in a woods. She went with these teenagers with braces on. <laughs> they didn't even have her on the list. And they picked her up on a bus um, at a park and she just went away. And I was like, okay, bye. I mean, I can handle school, like school. I've built a, a relationship with the school. I like the school, but man, it's just my anxiety this week is going to be, it's going to be tested. Losing control of your kids. It's, it's hard. I mean, I'm not losing full control, but it's just handing them to other people that you don't know is very, it's very hard. It's the YMCA though. Like obviously they're accredited business, but it's still, it's just hard. It's just hard. Okay. All right. I better go pick her up. I don't want to admit that like one of the only reasons why I bought this is because Mary Phillips, who is a makeup artist to none other than Khloe Kardashian, she was using a contour stick that was in this package. And I was just like, I have to try that. So this is, this is the reason why I had to splurge and get these contour sticks. And you know what? I'm not mad about it. I am not mad about it at all.